So I am here today with one of my good friends, and her name is Carolyn. That's what I call her, but I want her to introduce herself to you. I'm Dr. Carolyn Clancy Miller, and I'm a licensed clinical psychologist here in the Virgin Islands. And Carolyn, can you please tell the students, or pre-students, what was your journey to get where you are today? Well, my personal journey um, was started many years ago. My mother actually is a licensed psychologist, and my journey started in high school, actually, hmm. because I knew then that I also wanted to be a licensed psychologist. I was surrounded by a lot of women that I um, admired, and they talked to me, because I actually, at that point, um, just knew that I wanted to help people, and there are many ways to do that, and I thought that I would, would go into social work. So they told me about what psychologists do, and mm -hmm. that's what began to steer my path. And I knew right away that I wanted to become a clinical psychologist, and then that meant that I needed to get a PhD. So by the time that I went to, um, to undergraduate school at the University of Houston, I already knew that I was going to major in psychology. I did that. Um, I knew that when I got my bachelor's degree in psychology that I needed to keep going. So my personal career path was that I went, got my bachelor's degree from University of Houston, then I worked on my master's degree and got that in clinical psychology also um, at Texas Southern University because I was leading up to working on my doctorate, which I obtained from St. Louis University also in clinical psychology. Wow, that is a great journey. Now, can you share any additional thoughts for our students who are thinking about counseling, whatever that, maybe not exactly what you do, mm -hmm. but maybe it looks like it and they're just trying to find their way. Mm -hmm. Is there any little nuggets or something you could tell them? Well, the number one nugget that I would say is important is to begin to do some self-exploration early. You know, spend some time with yourself and spend some time with other people that are in the field so that you can really start to distill what you want to do. Malcolm Glad Gladwell, I think, um, and I may be mispronouncing his name, but he, he wrote the book Blink, and he mm. uh, talked about a lot about how you begin to accelerate after you get like about 10,000, I don't know, hours into of, of experience into whatever it is that you do. And so if you can begin that journey, that pathway to the 10,000 steps early, then you're, so I think it's critical to begin to take time to discover who you are, what you really wanna do, and then to begin to explore that with other professionals. So one of the things that I did is that I spent a lot of time with professionals that were in the field of psychology and I, and that were focused on various um, niche, niche markets, meaning that some of them were neuropsychologists, some were forensic psychologists, some were Christian psychologists, uh, and you name it. And, I spent, and, and then they got their training in different ways. All of them didn't get the training in the same way that I did. But I chose my path based on what I wanted to do. I began with the end in mind. I chose my path based on what I wanted to do, based on what I wanted to become, and I talked to people who had done something similar, people that I admired um, and that were renowned in their field, and I found out what their pathways were. And then I selected the one that most aligned with who I was, mm -hmm. and that's a path. So if I were to make any recommendations, it would be one to take the time early, because I think that that has been probably the, one of the best decisions I could have made mm. was to know what I wanted to do early and to stick with it. And then number two, to spend time with others so that you can kind of understand what the process will be and then what the career options are and what the pathways are to get there. Do that early as well. And then get on your way and know that um, you're going to get there. Know that it takes some time. Uh, know that your journey is your own. It's not someone else's. And if you stick with it, you'll get to your 10,000 hours. That is so wonderful. Oh, my goodness. And insightful. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Miller. <laughs> <laughs> um, we truly appreciate you taking the time out to um, give those wonderful little nuggets for our students.